Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a video on how to install your Hondata Flash Pro to your computer, how to lock it to your vehicle, and how to upload a base map. We're going to be going over some of the problems that I encountered while I did it, and how to fix them. And in this particular video, we're going to be using a PC instead of a laptop. Alright, so we'll show you here in a second. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Hondata.com. This is where you're going to download the software for your Flash Pro. Okay, this is for complete noobs out there. On the left side of the screen, there's going to be a button that says Flash Pro. You go ahead and click that button, all right? Click it. It'll bring you to this other page where it talks about the Flash Pro. And here where you see that Flash Pro is highlighted blue, go ahead and click that button. It'll bring you to this other page and where you can hit download, all right? I don't know if you can see it, but right over here it says download. Go ahead and click that. And then it'll bring you to this little, bring you down here, it'll say download Flash Pro software here. This is where you want to click and it'll bring you to another page alright you scroll down not S manager not K manager flash pro manager okay now um, I'm not gonna click it because I already downloaded it um, but that's where you're gonna click alright alright guys so once you have downloaded the software you're gonna see an icon on your computer that looks like this right here with a little lightning bolt um, it says Honda flash pro on it you're gonna go ahead and double click that it'll open up flash pro it'll look something like this okay at this point, this is a good time to plug in your Flash Pro, okay? On your Flash Pro, you should see the power and the USB light both light up. And down here in the bottom left corner of your screen, that green check mark should be checked, indicating that your Flash Pro is plugged in, okay? Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and register your Flash Pro, okay? This is how you're going to do it. You're going to click this tab up here that says Flash Pro, alright? Now, I'm already registered, therefore that's why all my information's here which is probably blurred out right now due to privacy, okay? One of the problems I had when I was doing this was this these tabs right here that say Update Flash Pro with Owner's Details, they were grayed out and I was unable to click them. Now, how did I fix that? I had to download the Hondata software maybe two to three times, all right? I don't know why it worked, but the second or third time that I downloaded it, these were no longer grayed out and I was up, able to upload it with my information and, you know, everything worked out just fine. All right, um, let's see. I was also able here to type in my VIN, VIN number to my car. Um, and after doing that, I went to this tab right here that says online and I clicked where it says lock to vehicle. Now, it's not an option now because it's already locked to my vehicle. But if, if you did this right, it should be an option. All right, once you click that, you'll see a bar that will load up and then it'll say, you know, successfully locked to vehicle. All right, and that's how I did it. I know everybody does it differently, but that's how it worked for me, okay? Um, so remember, if it doesn't work, if this part doesn't work, remember to upload the, try uploading the, the, the software two or three more times, okay? That's what I did and it worked for me. The second problem I encountered, I was trying to upload a map, a base map, all right? So I went to this tab right here where it says new calibration, and all these options you see here, they did not show up for me initially, all right? Where it says model, Civic SI, and all these models, nothing showed up, and vehicle, nothing showed up, okay? So I had no options. I didn't know what was wrong. Now the way I fixed that, when I was installing the software, it asked me, do you want the 2000, uh, 2006 to 2011 base maps, or do you want them for all the Honda models? And I chose all and once I chose all it finally loaded up all these uh, eighth gen base maps for me once again I don't know why that worked I don't know what the glitch is but it worked for me okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a base map that most closely fits your vehicle okay so what I chose was the AEM short ram intake alright I clicked on it it's blue next you're gonna click OK alright it'll close that screen and you're gonna hit this arrow right here that says upload uploading and you'll get this bar right here okay and it'll load up bam once that is done you are now good to disconnect your flash pro from the computer and you're ready to take it to your vehicle to get it flashed okay alright guys so now that you've uploaded the flash to your Honda flash pro you're gonna take your your Honda flash pro itself you're gonna plug it into the OBD2 port under your steering wheel okay if you don't know how to do that you honestly don't have any business doing this so I'll skip that part um, once you've done that put your key into the ignition don't start it but just 
turn it on like that, um, and you'll see the power button come on, all right? Can you see that on the screen? Mm -hmm. All right, once that power button comes on, you're gonna hit the program button, press it maybe for about one or two seconds, okay? So we're gonna do that, I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, hit program. And you'll see the program light starting to flash. Is it flashing there on the screen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you bring the camera lens over, bring it in. To you. And show the tachometer. You're going to see all these lights beginning to go off on your dash, okay? That is supposed to happen, all right? Yeah. Now, just keep, the, keep, it, uh, keep it on there just to show them what the cycle should look like and what you should expect. And your tachometer will actually begin to rise, all right? Well, at least mine does. I hope that's not a screw up. Yeah, there you go. You know, at this time where we're not really doing anything, I want to I want to throw a, uh, uh, you know, uh, some advice for myself out there. If any of you guys know, if you guys any have any base maps for a short ram intake and a Q300, I'd sure want one because Honda only has, you know, only has um, base maps for short ram intakes with headers and uh, you know catback exhaust. So. And there it goes, okay, that was that little click sound. Once that click sound's done, it goes back to zero. You're okay to unplug and you have just flashed your Flash Pro, okay? Uh, make sure you guys get back to us with any questions, any advice, if you have any base maps, email them to me, please. Um, leave any comments or questions, all right? That's how I did it, it worked for me. So, stay tuned for more vids. Oh, oh my God!